You know, many of you want to get into IT sector and earn that big fat money. Well, your coding skill can easily get you a seat in an IT company. But the problem is that many of you find coding extremely tough. Even many computer science students are weak in coding and struggle to get a job. Yes, they find it difficult to put the logic together. And while facing an interview, they face rejections. And there are many who struggle to finish their tasks on time at their workplace. Now, simply because they have weak coding logic. So if you want to improve your coding logic, this video is for you. I'm going to cover five fastest ways to improve coding logic in this video. But before I start, if you have any questions, feedback or any suggestions for topics that you want me to cover in my future video, let me know in the comment section. Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant and let's start now. And the first one is practice easy problems. Make a habit of practicing easy questions. At least solve 5 to 10 questions every day. Why am I asking to solve easy ones? Because a difficult problem has many hidden sub problems and sub problems are easier to solve. So we are trying to solve sub problems before taking up a difficult ones. Most of you commit this mistake of trying to solve difficult ones. I know your friends might be solving hard problems and seeing that you are tempted to take up similar questions for practice. First thing, don't compare yourself with anyone. Your friends might have already solved so many questions, might have already gone through hardship. If you follow them, you will struggle more and get frustrated too. Instead, you should keep your own goal, follow the process. Check if you are progressive. See if you are getting better than before. And that will boost your confidence. And for these questions, you can get so many easy problems on Google. There are many websites like LeetCode, HackerRank, CodeChef, CoderBite, TopCoder, etc. You can check out for these questions out there. And after a month practice, you can start trying your hand on average level questions before moving on to the difficult ones. Now next is use code repository. Now make a habit of storing code somewhere. This is very important, not because you can refer them in future. But when you do this for 30 days, storing 5 problems every day, you will have 150 solved questions in your repository. Will that boost your confidence? Absolutely yes. And you can save your task anywhere, in your local hard disk or on some website. Choice is yours. But I would suggest you to use GitHub and Bitbucket. They are the two most famous places to store your code. Both these provide public as well as private repositories. If you use these tools, you will learn how to use them. And that would help you a lot during your tenure with the company. You can also provide a link to your code repository in your resume. Look, you can tell all you want about your excellent hard skills, but providing a link to the code repo would make it more believable. Next is join coding community. Joining coding communities will help you in many ways. You can ask questions there. This will help you get unstuck while programming. And you can also share your answers. Yes, sharing knowledge is important. It increases your productivity. And there are many coding communities like Free Code Camp, Hackers News, Hacker Noon, Stack Overflow, etc. Personally, I rate Stack Overflow a valuable open community for all kinds of coders. It is one of the most helpful software engineer communities because you are likely to find answers to even most challenging problems in coding over there. Plus, you get to share your own knowledge with tons of colleagues and can even find your dream jobs over there. Well, I know you are required to become trustworthy first on Stack Overflow in order to ask and share your knowledge. Well, you can earn trustworthiness by getting reputation points. And the main way to gain reputation points on Stack Overflow is to get your questions and answers upvoted by others. And if you are a beginner, I would suggest you not to try and look for questions to answer, but rather focus on asking clear and detailed questions. Remember, a high reputation on Stack Overflow can be beneficial if you are trying to make a positive impression on prospective employers. Next is solve puzzle. 
you know food to the brain comes in the form of logic puzzles yes you should solve at least one puzzle every day this will help you better your logical thinking and you will also have a lot of fun at the same time several companies like google microsoft facebook etc ask interview puzzles to test your lateral thinking and problem solving skills so if you solve puzzle regularly you will not only improving your logical skills but also preparing for these big companies next is build small project now alongside practicing easy and average questions you can also start working on a small project a project will give you a chance to implement what you have learned and you will be exposed to many other challenges while working on a project you can seek help from your friends google your queries post your questions on communities etc and all these activities will teach you a lot and you can also store your project in repositories so these are five ways to improve coding logic do this for 30 days you will become a great thinker and a problem solver 30 days are nothing just try out and see the difference that's all for now i hope you find this helpful thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more